would have won the game. They lose in overtime. Otherwise, their season would still be okay, alive. They all set. I mean, it's just crazy Nothing like to hear from Carolina and how maybe their final four seconds that matter. I wouldn't have believed it. Where can I start? The monster. It was scary here. The outlaw? No. That beef, I mean, tender juice is like. It wasn't just a roster, it was a menu. This is what's serious. It's a menu. It's not. I'm getting hungry, too. Hey, exactly. Can we take a. Hey, can I get a sandwich? You've been putting back a few. Few becomes a few too many. For a moment, you think about going for a ride. Nah, you live nearby. What's the worst that can happen? You get pulled over, your insurance goes up, you would license, you total your car, kill someone. Reading people is my job. To my read is, they are good people. Caught up in a bad situation. Why don't you tell your son if you're still alive? I wanted all of this to stop. The legal system is doing nothing. Really afraid you'll find. If it dies, 
That is nature's way of saying you failed. And in just three days, 16 celebrities. I want to be broken. I want to be tested. My God! I'm trying to survive the military's toughest training. Escaping all my worst fears here. Four won't last the first episode. I don't care how rich or famous they are. We'll play by our piece. Ah! The campus is our premiere of Special Forces World's Toughest Test. Wednesday on Fox. Welcome to the State Farm Post Game Show. As you heard the man say, well, the State Farm Post Game, here the wrap has happened so far in Week 16. And one thing we do know, we know who the champions of the NFC South are for 2022, I guess, slash 23, is the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Tom Brady, Sean Payton, 23 years in the NFL, 23 seasons, 19 division champions. <laughs> Yeah, he's, uh, he's put on a lot of baseball hats and t-shirts, hasn't he? We haven't even talked about the, the next round or the next round the last round. We're just talking about winning the division. And I feel like this was one of the, there's like three puzzles left to be solved. We solved one today. Uh, and it's a it's been a, a repeating story for them in that first path didn't start off well. And there's some questions as to, hey, are they going to be able to? And so it hasn't been as aesthetically pleasing as it has been in the past, and yet the results are the same. Well, I, I said in the, in the halftime show, they always going to get a push. You know Tampa is going to give you a push at the end. Can you handle it? And they just overwhelmed, just see the overwhelmed Carolina when it, when it came time for you. And that's when you notice about teams that are championship teams or the teams in that situation before, when it seems they're behind the eight ball, they step up. The big players step up. Tom Brady stepped up. Mike Evans really stepped up. And you, you, you wonder, where's all this in the first half? So Where's it been all year? Where's it been all year? But i got to say, for the Tampa Bay here, whenever they've had their, somebody's had them down, they've always fought to come back. They're out of the for a long time. It's a win, win, but yeah. a win's a win. Third time this year, they've come back and doubled it down in the fourth quarter to win the game. Tom Brady's never had that in the same season. I think he just won that record of most comebacks. Well, he just has every record in the NFL record book for a quarterback day. He threw for three touchdowns, ran for one, his three touchdown passes all to Mike Evans, who just moments ago chatted with Aaron Andrews. Well, before we get to your day, let's talk about your win, your in, win the division, into the playoffs. You guys have been through so much as a team. What does it mean to get in? That means a lot. You know, but all year, most, a lot of teams don't struggle through adversity. Uh, we have a lot of experience. So our motto was just keep fighting, and we'll see what happens. And we did that tonight, and we got the win. Well, you also had your connection, your chemistry going, which, good news for you. You won't have to answer questions about what's wrong. What worked today between you and Tom? Three touchdowns for you today, Mike. Tom just kept targeting me, giving me, give me great ball down the field. And, uh, you know, plays, they gave us a lot of one-on-one -on -one coverage, and we took advantage. What about for your offense? Byron Leftwich told us coming in, it's attack mode from here on out. What felt different? I feel like we played better when our backs took the ball, and we had it. And uh, that's what we did today. We had our best offensive performance, and it was much needed today. Congratulations on another 1,000 season and getting into the playoffs and division type. Oh, all right. Thank you, Aaron. I will. Uh, you know, we, we were talking about this here a couple of seconds ago. We were watching Tom, and the one thing Tom can still do, even at this age, he said, Vinny has to control the ball down yeah. five, 70 yards. Tom can throw the deep ball. These two haven't been in sync. You know, it, it, whatever, for whatever reason, the struggle has been protection. It, it's, it's the lack of a run game. It's the lack of play action pass, which sets up the deep ball. But I, I got to tell you what. Uh, this guy really, Mike Evans, they were in sync today and they didn't have an answer for Mike Evans over 20 yards. Uh, and like you said, backs against the wall. <clears throat> it's ugly, but it's been ugly all year long. C.J. Henderson, the left corner for, for uh, Carolina, it looks to be the guy that was always locked up in man coverage with Sean. I hadn't figured out yet. Burned my butt one time with that big sucker. I'm going to give a little help to him again. But three times, all three touchdowns were against man coverage. All the pump and run. And not was that he was open, but Evans was wide open at least once. Where, okay, I say, okay, you make that throw. But the other two were, were half a step where they were perfectly strong passes. That's very hard to do. Tom, the beautiful passer, he's got great shoulder motion, yep. great feel for a deep ball. And uh, today was just beautiful. I'm looking at his stats. 34 for 45, 432 yards. 
at 45 years of age. Amazing. And then, you know, the thing is, and we've seen Corey who played with his career, we've seen Drew Brees, we've seen Craig Manning. Uh, no, they didn't grow like this. No. They no, like no, were nowhere no. near the age of, of Tom Brady. Yeah, really, I think we should take sit back and enjoy what we're seeing because we don't yeah. know if this will happen. We'll see it, but I don't know if we'll see anybody who will come after Tom Brady and be able to do what he's doing at his age. Because the numbers he's falling no. up to, I know hundred other young quarterbacks would pay to have the numbers. Well, the thing about Tom is, a lot of ways to throw the football, I was a snapper. Uh, Drew Brees is a high road. Drew was really high and throws like that. Tom hey, holds it here, and he leaves in foot shoulder. So you can drive the football with the shoulder. Never, If you don't hurt the shoulder, you're never going to have an arm problem, but it's easy to do. It's fun to do. And the ball's always down at the lawn. spinning, man. He's beautiful. got a good good stroke. Yeah, and beautiful stroke. How many people, and this is why fantasy drives, how many Mike people oh. dropped him, and here we are, and it's it, it just needed to hang on one or more thing. Or something hung in there. <laughs> just, just a little longer. And, oh, man. and you know what? Everyone's tearing up their switch. The, the fantasy drive. <laughs> when was the last time? Like maybe you, you don't know this, but you were in college. When was the last oh, time we had a... A team going to the book, a, book, a winning record. That was 1987. No. I looked at that. No. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I got that. You ready? Yeah. Since 1970, it's happened six times. 500 or below. You know what the record is in the first round of the playoffs? They all go out. Four and two. All of their winners. Really? And I was on a bank. Listen, because he didn't look it up. He had no, no, no. Speaking of trivia, he's going to be the number one seed in the NFC. All Philadelphia yeah. had to do was win one more game, and today they started to go against the Warriors. They're going to work out with that is with children. Had a good week of practice, but they opted to go to men's shoe here if he was picked off by Mark. Marshawn Lattimore, who came back after an injury today. Oh, man, 12-yard touchdown for them. New Orleans over the place. Hey, the Saints are out of the playoffs, but you do not want to play. They play great defense. So they're still mathematically yeah. in it right now. It's on Philadelphia. They still need to win one more game in order to try and test the number one team overall. They can play for a fifth. We'll get all that a little bit later. But after the game, Cam Jordan, part of a sick Six sack defense for New Orleans spoke with Cam Oliver. Well, Cam, now keeping hope alive. The Saints come in here, beat a 13 and two team. How did you do that? We're looking at a lot of moxie and a lot of fight. First of all, it's 2023. Happy Made New Year's. My God, so good. Uh, woke up, gave us breath, gave us life, was able to play. Uh, for the most part, I stayed healthy. Saw uh, Josh Sweat go down. You never want to see that. Um, and we can't do it again. You know, we didn't know the gentleman was going to be out. We were, you know, playing. He made some playing for us. We see that you guys have a good time and that, you know, you're close and you got a great culture. How much does all of that factor in? I mean, I wish we would have kicked it away sooner, but we're here now. I mean, all we can deal with is, is what's in front of us. Uh, we knew we had to get this win. Our playoff hopes alive. We knew we have to get the win next week. All that probability it, there and this, whatever it is, I know that. My guy woke up this morning, gave his breakfast this morning, and my D-line came out to eat. It looked like it was our D-line versus their D-line for a long, for, the, for pretty much the whole game. And then Marshawn came back, and then Marshawn came back and, you know, almost had a pick. I, I challenged him to get, get some more, get more. He had pick six. You can't ask more than that. You can't ask more than that. Uh, but I think my defense did a phenomenal job. You talked about uh, Caden Ellis. <laughs> they tried to put a running back on Caden Ellis. Club Lulu, welcome to the club. Um, he's slippery. Um, you talked about... Uh, Greg Carl Granderson, the way he's taken to the starting role and the way he's played the last couple games, he's got nothing but growth. You see, I'm, I'm over here talking with the slur. I got these Invisaline things, you know what I'm saying? Keep my, keep my smile. It is what it is. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, I used to play in Southeast, but you can't talk like that. I'm saying so, Invisaline keep it the right way. Aren't you now in the record book? I mean, if, if that so wills it, if, if Caden fell off that sack, I get it. I think that's three for the night. God is good. 2023. What's we'll that through with the right way? If that's it, I like that for me. You're having a happy new year. Congratulations and thanks for the time. Appreciate you. <laughs> and visualize. Hey, remember that. That that that's a fucking visualize and it's just that's a guy who's thinking about marketing as well. So exactly. He's gonna get picked up by Aloha. He's gonna get picked up by Kyle Duggar and the Patriots go on beat. Miami 23-21.
Bridgewater had to leave the game with a quarter injury, but Miami got off five in a row in their jet, missed the playoff after starting eight and three. Meanwhile, Denver riding hip coach Jerry Ross was in Kansas City. And Russell West, I mean, Russell Wilson obviously excited. Chip takes two keeps the ball on the RPO, goes in from 60 yards out. Touchdown. Denver at this point was up 10 to 6, but that wasn't going to last long. Mahomes into the flat as he finds McKinnon for a three yard touchdown. Chiefs score on the win this ball game. Next Denver, 27 to 24. All right, so the number one in the NFC is still up the grab going into the final game of the season, final week of the season. Philadelphia faces the Giants. Should they lose when they get the number one team? Yeah. Should they lose, though? Minnesota, San Francisco, and even Dallas are still alive for the top seed in the conference. Yeah, not only the top seed, but the division. I, it, it, it's mind-boggling. I, I, I expected better today out of Philadelphia. They, there didn't seem to be a lot of, there wasn't, there wasn't a lot of urgency. I, I think they had a great game plan on defense. New Orleans, as you mentioned, uh, for Gardner Minshew. Uh, and certainly they're not the same team without Jalen Hurts, without Lane Johnson. Down the line. Uh, that, that, that's a big, I mean, the sacks, the pressures, uh, keeping him in the pocket, the uh, a quarterback that had to play the game from the pocket. I had, because you said to me, Drupal, who took Johnson's place at right tackle. Yeah. Is that? He is out of there. And, and, yeah. That game matters for a lot of teams. Oh, Michael. Mm-hmm. This New York player starters. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Because New York won the first. The Rose yeah. have to be first. The, the, for the Giants, they don't win. Finley doesn't win. Right. Finley's going to play a starter. Now, if I'm New York, I, I'm, I'm thinking, do I really want to put my guy there at least the whole game? Maybe let's get some plays, but kind of did it in a sense of just keeping you fresh, keeping you sharp, but not keeping you out there for a high danger risk. Anymore. Wouldn't you have to try to look at what, 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 what has to happen for New York? You know, New York is in, and you're paying attention to the health of your team, and, and you know as a coach, the timing as to keep going, uh, like we saw Jacksonville, or let's back off. But it wasn't too long ago where the Giants were counting on the Eagles to play their starters yeah. and pulled them early on a Monday night football. Yeah, I remember that. And man, the Giants were furious and knocked them out of the playoffs. But this is a game that the East Nick win one to get right before the playoffs. And it looks like all of a sudden Jake Lee's on board the pregame show if they need it. Jalen Hurts would play in that final game. They need it. So it looks like he's going to have to him off to rest him. Yeah. yeah. Get them, get them yeah. one team. They'll be the only team. Yeah. 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 We got that. Yeah. We will continue to cover the rest of the playoff race, including much more. Like the <laughs> Lions <laughs> looking to stay alive and trying to make swift work of the Chicago Bears. What about the Washington Command? Do they still command that final spot in the conference? They also made a move. Yeah. Inside the locker room of the NFC South champion, Buccaneers. Let me go, Coach. Hey, Jake from State Farm. I want that personal price plan. So how's this for personal? I draw mustaches on players' faces when they're asleep. Coach Ray, you don't need to get that personal get the State Farm personal price plan. It helps you create an affordable price just for you. Oh, Coach, it happened again. I'm gonna get to the bottom of it all the quick to get a vote today. Might be a good neighbor. Stay on from there. Look at that freshly stitched turkey at Jersey Mike's. There's some things you just gotta see. Like those lovebirds over there. <laughs> That's DP. Swipe right in front of you. It's a Jersey Mike's thing. <laughs> It's not about what's happened in the past. It's about what's happening right now. It's week 18. Oh, I never the playoffs is on. Mahomes 
He recently bet the point spread, total points, and player props across multiple games for an even bigger payout. Amazing. Pat also loves fried chicken. Yep. He's a special talent. Red River's sportsbook app and football. It's a whole new game. You ready for it? Here we go. All these OGs, spitting mad truth and sick kicks. It's Skip Drip, baby. I am a living legend. You can't play Mr. Game Day. Shit, Shay, Shay, Show. Get off my property. Who was the greatest debater of all time? Owen, never own, understand. <laughs> all right. The last week of the regular season comes your way starting Saturday next week with games on ESPN and ABC, and of course, a full swing games on Sunday here on Fox and CNBC. Make sure you tune in tomorrow to find out the full schedule for Week 18 concerning your team. But now let's continue here with what's going on in Week 17. The Lions trying to keep their playoff for a while against the Bears. They got it going today. Over 500 yards and offense golf with three touchdown passes. Dropping this one off to DeAndre. Great job by Swift for him. From 21 yards out all Detroit, 41 to 10 over the Chicago Bears, who have now lost nine in a row for the first time in their 100 plus year franchise history. But the big story here is Detroit, they stay alive in the playoff race. They can get in with a week 18 win against the Packers and Seattle losing a game. We'll update you on Seattle's game. And that's the first, there's Aiden Hutchinson who has interceptions. Aiden this week, Dan Campbell came out and he flat out said you guys got kicked in the teeth last week. If he said that to us in the media, I can only imagine what he said to you guys in those meeting rooms. What was this week like that ultimately led to this day? Yeah, man, you know, last game was it was tough, we got our ass kicked, but um, you know, the point is we came back, dominated win, um, did what we had to do to, to get in the playoffs. Yeah, right, let's talk about that, right? You guys played lights out today. Uh, offensively, you paid lights out, but you got to do it again next week. What do you have to say about this team that started one and six and now has fought your way into a position to play for the playoffs? Man, I don't think it's ever been done. Um, uh, I don't uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but man, it feels special. And the turnaround that we have had, it's, it's just unbelievable. And that's a testament to all our guys and, and uh, all the work that we've made to, to turn this turn this ship around. You know. It's, uh, it's amazing, and I'm blessed, to, I'm blessed to be a part of it, and um, I'm ready to turn back. With two minutes to go, I saw you urging these fans, who, by the way, no one left. I saw you urging them to cheer. Look around. What do you think about what you guys have created? Yeah, I was getting the chills that whole, that whole 30 seconds just because I know the city of Detroit has supported me so much, and I'm so grateful, and just being here, and, I put the fans up, man, and, and having victories like this is a division. Um, I think it's the future. Congratulations. Good luck next week. Thank you. All right. Meanwhile, Washington taking on Cleveland. Carson Wentz, their new starter. Well, that wasn't a good move. He had given him a spark, but it went the wrong way. Deshaun Watson, three touchdown passes on the day. Demar Cooper, a huge game, over 100 yards, 33-yard touchdown to Cleveland, 24 and Washington with no spark with Winston quarterback. They only had 10 points. Colt, the Giants, Nick Foles starting for the uh, Colts was carted off with a rib injury in the first half. Daniel Jones, 18 yard touchdown run. I can flat fly. Giants clinch, Michael. A playoff game. Can you believe it? 38 to 10. Congratulations, New York Giants, right? 
and Daniel Jones. And then finally, Trevor Lawrence, third year quarterback, number one pick out of Clemson. And in this ball off to Etienne. Travis? Etienne. Etienne. I don't think I can I cannot say that name. 62 yard touchdown. I love him, and I, but I have a hard time with that. And when did I have a hard time with that? Well, we got a lot of players. And it's one of the last second field goal over Arizona 20 to 19. So, here the headline finished off the morning game. You see Tampa plus the South. The Giants got their playoff first. But after everything, Green Bay controls its own destiny now. They can get in the playoff by beating Detroit this week. And all that's left to decide, really, is the number one conference and the number seven seed in each conference. And right now, you take a look at the bottom of the here, I'll start with you, Michael, I guess. You know, you look in the NFC, it's either Detroit, Washington, Green Bay, or Seattle. And Green Bay is the team, after all that's gone this season, that kind of controls its own destiny. And Green Bay, right now, leads Minnesota. Yeah, and when you look at this, I... I'm looking at Detroit, and I see how hot they are, and I see how excited Hudson's it is. They have to play Green Bay, and Green Bay at that. And I just don't see, if Green Bay can get to the of the day, I don't see them losing at home for a chance to go to the playoffs against a team in Detroit who hasn't been there. They have taken advantage of, have beaten over the years. So right now, in my opinion, Green Bay looks like the team that's going to take that second spot. It's improbable. You know, as you said a week ago, as recently as three weeks ago, Green Bay's going to have a shot here. And, and it's going to be against the Oh, when, you son of a bitch. When those folks in go to bed at night, and those folks who go to bed at night, they don't check for the boogie mountain of the They check for Aaron Rodgers. And, and when you oh go with the quarterback, God. it's... Don't ever let <laughs> Hey, well, <laughs> hey, he, he tried, man. I know. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to give him my age. I, I ah, he's been ripping their heart out for how long? All right, Corey, yeah, it, throughout Corey. the league, yeah, anyone who, who covers the NFL, at some point in the last four or five weeks, we sold that stuff. Yeah, in the Packers. Yes. And, and right now, we're all looking for those receipts yeah. to pick them up. <laughs> right. I do think this, though. I think what you do is that lot of picking. Yeah, I think that Lions Packers game oh. is going to be a better game than we've ever seen in your, I, this is a different Detroit Lions team. And it's a tougher team and a physical team and an offense that's playing as well as any offense in the NFL right now. And so these guys are scoring every week. We turn it on with 30 some points. Yeah, you're, you, you saw the playoff games yesterday. And I asked you earlier, I said, where's the defense? Oh my that God. couldn't be what you see next week, Green Bay. And be, we ask ourselves, Where's the defense? A little bit of a track. Really yeah, it is. Because Detroit, like, off the two score, Green Bay, Aaron Hot, Bryant can get hot. But Detroit, the young dude. I mean, Hut and the step. You have this young guy, James Houston, uh, 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 at Jackson State. He had the most sacks over the first six games of anybody's career. He had three today. So they have young players. And, I mean, I don't. Anything can happen, but I always tend to go for someone who's been there with the experience because yeah. the moment not when they get caught up bigger than you, and if you're not careful, you're a young player, all that adrenaline, the game is over, and and, and I, I just think if that will probably be what will happen to this. defense. Even today, it wasn't good. And last week, it was over 300 yards. So somehow, in this is a different style of Green Bay offense. Yeah, that's right. So his numbers have gone down. The run numbers have gone up. They, they've been more efficient with that. Well, the bottom line is, if Green Bay winds up winning against Minnesota today, the winner of that game, Green Bay Detroit, will be in the playoffs. So plenty of reason to celebrate. Yeah, if you're a Packer fan, they're already celebrating. Lions fans and the team as we will go inside their locker room and some others as we continue on the State Farm post game show as we get you caught up on the late games as well. We'll let you know officially how Green Bay is doing and Brock Purdy and the Niners as well. He's looking pretty good. Everyone in my family went on a carnival cruise. Maggie didn't come though because she's a dog. Mom did things I've never seen her do. Dad was himself. And I met this girl who's pretty cool, I guess. My best friend! Then I saw a bird. Hi. 
cool bird. And that was the foot on sunscreen. And we had the best time together. Please don't tell my friends I said that. You don't come to Vegas for one game, one fight, or one team. Because the game is just the beginning. The greatest arena on earth. A corona and palm trees. Uh, and calm seas. And a bomb breeze. And our strong meats. And, 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 and we're eating Guam cheese. But cheese. Yeah, I don't know. I ran out of rhymes. With the Venture X card from Capital One, you earn two times miles on every purchase. So don't cancelling. You're being too loud. Good choice. My lucky number. Plus, earn five times miles on flights mm -hmm. and ten times miles on hotels through Capital One Travel. What's in your wallet? I understand that this is all very traumatizing. It's impossible not to think the worst. But I want you to know that we will find him. Come on, let's go, 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 go. We can't stop until we cash this guy. This is life or death. You're safe. You're going home. Alert. We see Person 2 that premieres next Sunday on Fox. Well, coming up next, we have a NASCAR race hub special previewing the 2023 season for you. They'll talk about all the things you need to know, including NASCAR's most popular driver, Chase Elliott. Can Team House and Pitbull are going? And what will Bubba Wallace accomplish for Michael Jordan in 2311? No racing. That's all, all coming up. We are down here at the State Farm Post Game Show, but right now, let's get inside some of those victorious locker rooms, starting with the NFC South champion, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Hey, Doug, that's a hell of a job. That's a hell of a job. Every time they count us out, we keep <laughs> We said we were coming up here for one reason and one reason only. We said this was like a playoff game for us. Okay? Man, you guys played your ass off. Yeah. Okay. So, you know, we don't like to say it's not me. Okay? Okay? But when you set the club record for sacks, Cam Jordan did it. Because Watson's very right, one perfect early, but then we took over and we win. And that is what we're about. Yeah. All three phases for all four quarters. We ain't done yet. We ain't done yet. Enjoy this. Let's get back to work, man. Now we all three. One, two, three. I mean, I, Dan Campbell, I played with Dan Campbell. You coached Dan Campbell. Yeah. Did you hire another coach? Too? Listen, I, I had him as a, as a coach in New York, a coach in Dallas. As soon as I got a chance to hire him as a coach at the Saints, and that was hard to do because I am out of the contract. He was with me for the last five or six years, my assistant coach, and, and great to see him doing well. But but he is a tough uh, hombre, tough guy. Every day again, practice, a very tough guy, but also a guy, a team guy, a guy who you know every day you're going to get the best. And, and just that enthusiasm and energy that he always had is what he's bringing to coaching. I think I, this Lions team is turning around, and I know a lot of people were kind of, oh, what did they do when they hired this guy to get press conferences? Could be a him in the kneecap. Fight him in the kneecap. But if you know Dan Campbell, that is his. He was a great scrappy, teammate. scrappy, scrappy. Great teammate for sure. So they will play Green Bay next week to come up Green Bay. If they win that game, assuming they win today in Minnesota, then they would get in. Detroit needs to win against Green Bay, but they also need to lose one of its last two games. And right now, Seattle is taking on the New York Jets, and it's not going to Detroit's way. Say that. You know, Smith, looking awfully good. Brilliant. Just to have a wonderful year setting up, looking right there, just a simple down turnaround. Blunt was inside, linebacker outside, uh, tight, the good thing, just turn, set down. That was Paul Marbury as he takes a seven yard touchdown. Seahawks all at 70 to three. New quarterback at Jaron Stidman. 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 You know what? This guy was at Auburn. I remember this kid at Auburn. He's been gone for a while, sitting there trying to get an opportunity to play, but doing a nice job. And then Brock Purdy in the back of the end zone fights the tight end. The tight end, Kittle, and Purdy have hooked up the head and grew up. I don't want to say it, but Jimmy hates it. What did he do? Well, what did he say? Yes. Nah, I'm <laughs> for some of the Green Bay, Keyshawn Nixon, here he goes again. Look at this. One hundred. 
five yards on a kickoff return for a touchdown. Mm. Celebrate Green Bay. They control their own fate right now. If they keep on winning and they just scored again, if they went out, they are in the playoffs after all the way the season starts. Thank you to Green Bay last year. With Versace out, five now their head coach, or now special teams coach, pardon me. Rams lead the Chargers. Chargers already in the playoffs. Right now, it's 3 nothing in that one. All right, final thoughts of Week 17. I'll start with you, Sean, heading into Week 18. Yeah, well, we hit on this NFC 7th uh, seed enough. And, and the one thing that's interesting, Seattle's playing at home, Jets, and their following game is against the Raiders. And we've seen what's happened in, in Las Vegas, and we talked about it earlier. The, the change of the quarterback position is one thing, but the, the starting quarterback, I, I hate to see what happened with Derek Carr. In, in our business, you, you hear the word culture all the time, and, and we're trying to create culture and part trust. And so I don't know what they're doing at, in Las Vegas, but I'd be a, a team that would want to play them right now. And Seattle's going to have a chance to next week. So... Uh, I think that's going to be pretty interesting. Well, and for me, it's, you know, my New York Giants, baby. Win and you're in. And they did it. And, uh, you know, we had a question of Daniel Jones, the guy of the future. I don't know Packers about that, scored. how they feel about it. But, but watch it down develop it's over crazy. over this season and, and having some more weapons with him and rushing for two touchdowns today, passing for two touchdowns today. A big lead for Daniel Jones and the Giants are playing better coming down the stretch to the playoffs. Dang, Green Bay, you know, it, it was a disappointment defensively. Offensively, a lot of questions. Why aren't they running the ball more? They've kind of come around defensively. They're opportunistic as well in the last couple of weeks. And the run game is, I, I think, we're going to drive their playoff push if they get in. All right, that does it for us here in Week 17. The next time we see you, Happy we'll New have year. a better feeling about what's going on in the playoffs as we get you all set for Week 18 of Free Game Show. Can't wait. Enjoy your week in the meantime. Art Sports thanks you for watching this presentation of the National Football League. For NFL news and highlights, go to NFL.com. I don't care how rich or famous they are, we'll play by our rules. Ah! The Canvas Tour premiere of Special Forces World's Toughest Test, Wednesday on Fox. Winter is here, which means it's time to get your home ready for anything the season will throw at you. Menards has everything you need to stay productive during the winter. Whether you're trying to keep up with the snow, save on energy, or warm up by the fire, trust the team that's dedicated to service and quality to help you make the most of your winter. Whether it's inside or out, grab this 18-inch snow shovel pusher combo for just $11.99. Save big money at the night. They say less is more, but we believe more is more. That's why we built our sportsbook app, Ohio, with more, more, more ways to bet, more ways to fund your account, more ways to cash in, and more ways to cash out. With payouts delivered straight to your bank account in as little as two hours. FanDuel is now available in Ohio. New customers can bet five bucks and get $200 in guaranteed. Find thousands of jobs right at your fingertips at fox8jobs.com. Your job search just got easier at fox8jobs.com. Crazy move. It's very risky. I mean, that might be the biggest thing. I didn't think it would work. It, physics wise, I, I didn't think it would work. Last time I watched it, it still doesn't look real to me. It was an amazing video game move. It's something that I think all of us tried when we couldn't get her on the racetrack. They all hate it. it. Took a lot of guts, a lot of unique things. I was like, oh no, he's not lifting. Thinking that he's just going to drive through me. They hate talking about it. They hate that I did. They hate that I did it first. They're never going to get to live it down. Kick myself to the day <laughs> that I didn't pull that move a year earlier. Props to him for, for not talking himself out of it and committing to it. My radio was like, that was one of the coolest things I ever saw. I hope we don't go to Martinsville and have 20 of us do it. It just takes a lot of guts to do it. I know some of them just don't, don't like it. I don't ever want to be. I don't ever want to do it again. I don't ever want to be in that situation again. Never been done before. It will never happen again. Yes. What a 
great moment from 2022, no doubt about it. Boyer, I remember when you went at Martinsville a handful of years ago, got out of the car and you said, how about that? I'm, I'm guessing after that move, you said, how about that? Man, I tell you what, I was honking the horn. I was back on the back straightaway in my bus watching that, my son Cash and I, and I'm honking the horn, beating on the window. <laughs> the, the whole place was just a run thing. I mean, this was something that had never been seen before. It's... You can't say it now because it's too present. Ten-time Cup Series winner, Clint Boyer. Folks, hold on because we haven't seen each other in a while, so this could get a little off the rim. Remember, Jamie's not a hugger, okay? So, <laughs> I would be way over there. That would be a better I hug like him every time I see him because I, uh, I know how much he loves it. It's time to go <laughs> racing again. So as we anticipate uh, 2023, what are you looking forward to most, Jamie? Yeah, I mean, anytime we get to the start of the year, I, I can't help but think about which team has done the most homework. I know Clint doesn't enjoy homework, but some teams do do homework. He right? has notes. I and, saw Yeah, yeah, yeah Crayon, notes. a big cheap notepad is what Clint's <laughs> notes are on. But look, when you get to this point, we get to the Daytona 500, we find out who has learned little things that are going to make their car faster and put their organization on top. And I can't wait to get to the start of the year to see who's done the best job. I'm going to look here. <laughs> I like on Mark Hamlet in racing. But you're on the right path. This car, we saw a lot of good racing action in 2022 because of this race car, because of the parity built in this race car by design um, by all the individuals that came up with this car. It worked. Every happened exactly as planned. I loved what I saw last year, and I think you're going to see even more of it. But what you're saying, there's going to be teams that have to be better, and can they answer that call? And, and that's going to be interesting, because I think to where we were a year ago with the next-gen car, we used the word nonstop, unknown. We had no time in this car. Teams, drivers, they had no pages in their notebook. Now we have a full year under our belt. But one thing that will be the same is we're going to go to the class at the LA Coliseum. It's about winning. I can't even tell you that second there last year, but not matter. In two weeks later, the biggest race of the season, something every driver, every team 